Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to talk about battery life on a Tesla. So welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Vlad and today I'm going to talk about battery life and why this is so important for your car. So I bought my car with 310 miles maximum on it in 2019 and supposedly it should go to 310 max but i usually charge to 90 percent so that that gave me about 285 and at some point i checked on my phone uh, for the maximum amount of the mileage i can get and it gave me 317 so i was pretty happy i was like damn they finally changed the battery life on my car since the new update came out for every car and I thought that changed my battery life because every new Tesla now, Tesla Model 3 that is, has 322 miles on it and mine only came with 310 so I thought he got an update but a few, a few weeks later I checked back and it says 3, 304 so I'm like what, what happened? And let's just take a look into it so my battery kept changing every day or like every time i charge it would be different and i mostly use superchargers so every time i charge to 90 or 85 percent it's always different recently it's been uh, like 275 273 so that got me thinking why is my battery always different am i killing my battery by using superchargers and I just did some research and I'm going to share it with you guys. So let's talk about how to keep your car battery healthy. So if you actually have your car in the miles um, setting, then that's actually a really bad idea to do. For me, I find the miles easier to use since I can kind of see and have an idea of how many miles I can still drive, but it's not recommended to use that for your battery and it's actually better to switch to percentage because that will give you a better understanding and better better idea of your battery's life. So if you switch to percentage and go to a charger and charge to 100% or charge at home wherever you can and if your car can is able to go to 100% then that means that your, your battery is in good condition and you don't have to worry about anything right now because mileage setting on the car is actually not good for your car that projects the way you drive the the air conditioning in your car and all those settings combined so that gives you an estimate of, of how many miles you can drive because sometimes when i drive and you guys can probably relate to this when i drive and i just charged up let's say i have 270 250 and i drove one mile but it would take off the car like two three miles and you think oh it's probably because of the AC but it's just everything combined you, you can't you can't drive one mile and the AC would take two miles you know what I mean so it's just everything combined your driving habits how you drive how fast if you're if you accelerate fast a lot or if you I don't know it's just everything combined and that's how it kind of shows you your driving habits and if when you charge your car to 100% and if it doesn't reach 100% if it goes to like 99 or 98 or maybe even less then that's when you know you have a problem and it, unless you have the car for a couple of years now that should be pretty common and because batteries always degrade but if you had the car for less than a year let's say and you, you're not able to charge to 100% that that means that your car definitely has degradation in, in the battery and might be something wrong with the battery or you're just killing the battery pretty fast. So battery degradation usually happens after six to seven years depending on how you drive. So obviously if you abuse your car or if you drive fast here and there, it's not gonna affect the battery as much if you just do it here and there. But if you constantly drive fast, abuse the car, then it'll definitely happen sooner. So let's just jump into some of the things that you can do to keep your car healthy. So if you're able to charge your car at home, then you should definitely charge your car every single day to 90%, even if you have like 88, 80%, whatever. 
just charge your car to 90%, set it to charge to 90% overnight, and whenever it charges to 90%, it will stop. So you don't overpay for charging or electricity, and that way your car is gonna be in having a 90% charge every day, as well as have a good battery life throughout the time of your ownership. This will keep your battery's health up, and if you can, try to drain your battery to 10% or below once every two weeks, and then charge it back up to 100. So it's kind of similar to a phone or like a laptop. If you like drain your battery and charge it back up, it kind of like resets the the battery um, settings and it gives you a better better lifetime of the battery as well as you'll project better settings or better estimates of how many how many miles you can drive on that charge it's just an easier way to to have your battery charged up and in better conditions because you'll you will it will know your driving habits and whatnot and it will give you a better understanding of your car's battery and how many miles you can drive throughout the battery lifetime or rather your battery charge. And if you're like me and charge your car at superchargers like almost every day or whenever you can and you can't charge at home then superchargers are not actually that bad for your car especially for the Model 3 because they're actually designed very well right now especially the superchargers and they go well with the car, with the recent cars that are coming out. So it doesn't affect the battery negatively. And the only thing that can affect the car's battery is the heat. So whenever you charge and if it's really hot outside, that might affect the car's battery a little bit every time you try, try to charge. So if you charge a lot here and there, um, especially in the heat, then that will definitely have a negative effect on your car. That also goes with the fast charging because superchargers are pretty fast. So even if charging fast, it doesn't have any effect on your battery as long as it's not in the heat. So maybe you're in a shade or whatnot, then that will definitely help out and have a better charging experience and once you switch to percentage and you want to know how many miles you can do on that charge then the best thing to do is actually use the energy chart on the car which i almost never use but i kind of started like getting into it recently so whenever you go to the the charging uh chart or the energy chart go to the 15 miles and that will give you a good project an estimate of how many miles you can do on that charge so not a lot of people use this function including me like I never actually used it every time I opened it I was like so confused of how to actually use it or whatever it's yeah I didn't know how to use this function and I just stopped you going into it but recently I started getting into it so I want to see how to actually use it properly and maybe I'll use it in the future as well so with that being said thank you guys for watching i hope you got an idea of how to actually charge your car better to have your car not die on you or be able be able to drive more miles on your car without changing the battery so thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe leave a like down below and i'll see you guys in the next video peace